all I got right now. Okay. Effectively, any of the trailers that are out there now, what we're asking to put in on the back piece of property right now, they'd all go back there. I mean, right now there isn't space back there to put them. So we have to, that's why I hired a general contractor and an engineer, is to lay that out so all those can go in back and get plugged in. You won't see them from Ridgeland anymore. They'll all be in back. Of our making, will, you, will you be constructing them in the front and then just moving them to the back to have the power? Explain the, the, how the process. Get, so what, what, so will stay, what will stay in Moni for now is what we call a kind of our weld shop area that's in that current space now. Okay. And then they will come out of that facility and then go to the University Park facility where they will be completed, finished, medical equipment is installed and it goes to customer. So the products that you'll typically see out behind or in front of our building, depending on how you look at it, um, are products that have been brought to us waiting to get in to be have a magnet changed or service done or those kinds of things. They will go onto that back storage area so we can keep them plugged in and on power. Because again, they have to stay on 480 volt power day and night. So the space in University Park, what you're saying, so that I can make sure that I'm understanding, mm -hmm. is that the things that are out front that are making it unattractive to some people um, will be removed and the appearance will be upgraded. Absolutely. And this is all with the lease and then when, once the other building, if approved, is constructed, then you'll make it nice and neat. Yeah, I will have an additional. So when somebody drives, in. so right. I'm, I'm just trying to make sure that. Uh, Ultimately, the whole facility will move onto the back five acres where we want to put up that building. Okay. So all of that will go, because quite honestly, the, the, doing the most of the building in back is that what I'm understanding? Yeah, when when you look at that plan, there's yeah. kind of phase one and phase two. Yeah, correct. Once we put that building up in the back. Yes. Yeah. The sixty thousand square feet. Yep. Yep, back there. That's where all the manufacturing will go, is back there. Okay. In the interim, we're doing a portion of it in Moni and, uh, and all the rest of it in University Park. Which currently, since 2002, you've been, or eight years now, um, have been doing it in the location that it's at. Correct. But the, but the demand, we used to do 12 in a whole year. Now we're being pushed to do 12 in a month. So that you know the demand is much higher. That's why we are in such a jam for space, and why stuff ends up outside. And because yeah, I, I did, I visited the property mm -hmm. actually today and another day, and um, I, I just want to make sure that I'm understanding where everything is going to be. So once you move everything to the back, I'm just kind of focused also if this is done, what is happening in the front, so that nothing those. Nothing. You'll see those doors on the front. I mean, those are the back, those are the rear of the center-facing yeah. building. Right. So, you know, I will, I'll still have guys working in that facility. Okay. But all the work will be taking place inside, we, and we don't, won't okay, have so all that other okay. stuff outside. Okay. That, that was my question. Okay. Thank you. Well, I remember the O2 deal. And is 
it going to take you eight years to accomplish this? Again, I'm, I'm not here as BC Development. I'm Advanced Mobility. I'm a tenant in those buildings. So, in, 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 in essence of fair disclosure, I'm a 25% owner of BC Development, okay? If, if, if anybody in the room thinks that we don't wish there were five buildings up on that property generating revenue by now, then you're sadly mistaken. You know, again... Mm -hmm. okay. I'm sorry? Initially you said there were supposed to be 40, and now you said there are going to be five. Well, no. Well, this is the back. You know, it, it's. I started this business. I turned into the biggest te tenant in that facility. The business is growing, and this is the best opportunity that we have to continue the development of that property and turn it into a, a spot where I'm. You know, we're hiring people. Where we have jobs. We have well-paying jobs. Our employees all have four hundred one k and profit sharing. If you adhere to all the ordinances and uh, safety features and, and do what you say you're going to do, I'm, I'm incredibly tight on space. That's why it looks the way it right. does. I, it's it's a challenge. That's why um, I started paying thirty thousand dollars a month to rent a building at University Park. So, <laughs> well, we like to hear money. I, trust me, I, 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 me too. I, I want to see those build, that building go up in the back. That's the, it, that's the interim solution. Yeah. Correct. That's an interim solution until we can. Otherwise, it's going to look like that for two and a half years while we put up a building, and that's just not a viable option. Okay. Um, I, I'm representing a couple of. Questionnaires here. My first question, Bob, is uh, in order to get a variance, do you have to have a uh, hardship? Mm -hmm. Would you explain that hardship to me, please? Well, the hardship that we that we have is is if you take uh, our existing, you know, business operations. Um, it's very important for us to not only be able to provide the space to work inside, but the support outside. Okay, that's you're, you're further down the road. Okay. I'm talking about, you're asking for a variance here to go from a 10-foot side, side yard to a 5-yard. Right. And, and our, our code specifically says 10. Right. So w what is your hardship with wanting to do this? The truck parking with the electric and everything in it. Um, I, I guess I'm confused by the, the term hardship. The the plan is that we need to to use the space efficiently, in order to ultimately put up a building in phase two that gives us the, the opportunity to do both. And and if we can't use that variance or push those back, we won't be able to fit the building on the property. Okay. And so after the building is up. Yes, sir. You will continue uh, to use that variance. You, uh, the parking for the trucks will continue to be there with the five foot rather than the absolutely ten yes. Foot? Okay. Absolutely yes. It's critical to our. All right. Now, um, I, I have been asked by our uh, fire chief a couple of questions that he asked me to ask, and one of them is. If this is granted, and maybe your engineer can answer this, where are the fire hydrants going to go? Because the, the code says that they have to be a uh, minimum 300 foot. <coughs> they'll, stay in their, they'll stay in their current location. Which, which, is, but, but, well, which is where they are. Yeah. <coughs> they're they're uh, Mike, our engineer, they're on the... They're already on the site from the original, you know, all the all the infrastructure is in site, place. This back site. Oh yeah, all the infrastructure is in place okay. back there. Then that brings us to the next question. Is so they're basically on the property line, correct? Uh, no, they're the hydrants are probably twenty feet off the property off line, the property. twenty to twenty-five feet off the property line. 
So we'll have to put an island. We'll have to put a bump out to protect the fire okay, hydrant well that, in that. Yeah, that was we, we had that discussion out here a couple minutes ago. Okay, good. Well, that answers the one question. And the other question that he asked me to ask was, um, when if you get this variance mm -hmm. and you move these trucks back here, does that mean in your existing building where you've got them running along the side of the building with outlets coming out to, or plugs to plug in, that that will no longer be? Correct. Correct. Okay. All right. Um, I, oh, the, the other Perfect. thing that I would like to make mention here that I'm uh, seeing, the, uh, you'll see a circle by the, uh, where, where it's showing the new building on that, right here? Yeah. Okay, for temporary, that is going to be the uh, turnaround for the FD, correct? Correct. And when the building is uh, constructed, then the road will go all the way around and it will all be paved. Correct. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I think uh, that's all I got. That's a good set of questions. Hold on. Myself, I have a, uh, I, I've been to the property, I've, I've taken a look at it, I've, I've had some discussions with Mr. Bachman. I, have a, uh, I think this is a good thing for the village, and I think it's a good step in the right direction to um, get something better than what it is right now. And uh, with that, I would like to entertain a motion for a positive recommendation to the village board to grant the uh, variance for the parking lot uh, uh, setback um, limitation reduced by five feet. And I think that I think that's about it. I don't think there's anything else we have to add. Because we're going to take this one at a time. We're, we're going to do the special use in a, in a, in a, a as a special, a different one. You need a second? Maybe a motion. motion. Oh, okay. Motion. I'll make that motion. Is there a second? A second. Roll call, please. Bartlett? Yes. Rose? Yes. Janda? Yes. Johnson? Robin? Mary? Yes. Neela? Yes. Okay, motion carried. That's for the variance of the parking lot. For the parking lot. Five feet. Five feet. Now, I'll entertain a motion to enter into a public hearing with a special use application. I make the motion. For a second. second. Roll call, please. Neary? Yes. Neelan? Neelan? Yes. Gross? Yes. Janda? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Bartlett? Yes. Okay, we are in public session. Are there any uh, anyone from the public that wishes to speak on this matter? <laughs> Asking a second time, is there anyone from the public that wants to speak on this matter? Mr. Hazer. Wayne Hazer, 26634 Winfield. I think we just skated over something fairly important here. The blacktop top coat has never been done. The building facing Ridgeland has never been done. They have not complied with their original request. Erwin Bogue, 6655 West Maple Court, Moni. Uh, I concur with uh, Mr. Hazer. It seems to me that uh, Bob here says he's a 25% owner of B&C. I don't know if that's because he's renting so much space and paying B&C so, so much money. But if he's a 25% owner, why can't he initiate completion of the original project? as a 25% owner and get that building up facing Ridgeland Avenue 
and getting all of the black topping done and everything else that had to be done in the original project that was approved in 2002, which only consisted of five buildings, not 40 buildings. It only consisted of five buildings. The fifth building is the one that's not there. Again, and there might be some additional question or comment relative to this portion, and um, some things we can maybe can strike a balance with or something. Sheila, I'll start with you. What I'm going to ask is that we just talked about the paving of the um, variant. Mm -hmm. So uh, is it just stopping at phase two detention, or are we going to actually extend it so that we can make everything look? We'll run the, the top coat of black top up to the street. Okay. And the reason that hasn't been completed is because you typically, just like when you do a subdivision, yes. you I don't put your top coat on we have until, that don't have it, so I until the. Don't. So we will put it in and then. Yeah, and quite honestly, one of the real challenges is it gets destroyed because we get about 80 trucks a day through our facility from across the street that for, you know, uh, Jacobson or wherever those guys are. So, uh, you know, it, that, that's why it looks the way it does is because it gets destroyed by the, the daily traffic we get through there. So we will go ahead and put the top coat on all the way up to Ridgeland even though it will probably then have to be redone again after we build the building in the rear. And you stated the roundabout will be closed. Okay. Until the building is Right. Then you'll be able to pass all the way around. Okay. And you've already talked to the fire. I have no more questions. I thought you don't have any more because you, <laughs> you did a great job there. With I, I have no more, no. Okay, thank you. I don't need a clear contagion. Jim? I'm going back and forth. I, again, I don't have a problem with what you were trying to do, but I understand they're, they're uh, bright about it too um, as far as getting this place finished up. You're saying you're going to clean up the mess, I get it. You know, I understand it. And this is going to help you clean up the mess, I get it. But how's that going to finish up the project? You say you're going to pave everything. It's going to be all done and complete. And you guys have done the building, that's what you're saying? All paved. Yeah, up to, well, it's only not done. The, it, there's only one little construction. The, the south, south piece is the only part that doesn't have the top coat on it. It's and just that, it's just that, and that allows access to the back property where we will do construction ultimately. The photographs show different. Show me. We're up by the church where the kids play and all this mess. Yeah. Page two, page three, page, page four. I'm facing second place church. You can see the two or three inch with the top coat's not there. You the can top see coat is on that. You can see a you can see a hole in the pavement and there's several inches of the of the gutter showing. Or the curb. The top coat asphalt is on that. I disagree. Oh. That's your prerogative. Yeah. It's just been. Oh, I see. And there can't be that many trucks running through there from Jacobson because that. Uh, on Monday, I was there. There were 300 people in the parking lot. I believe that was the day that the church had their food drive, correct? Yep. Okay. Well, it's nice that they're doing something for the community. It is. To be at their harm's way. Okay. Uh, I'm going to interrupt right now, and I'm going to ask for a motion to close the public hearing. I'll make that motion. I'll make that motion. 
Rules can make an all second. Roll call, roll call, please. Um, Gross. Yes. Gianda. Yes. Johnson. Yes. Mary. Yes. Neeland. Yes. Bartlett. Yes. Okay. Um, Thanks. Any, any more questions, comments? Or? No, I'm just again. I don't have a problem with to try and do in the back, and I, I think that's going to help clean up the front. I get it, but I just I understand that the residents do, and I'm a resident right across the street actually. Yeah. So, um, and, and I don't appreciate looking at the MS either. I, you know, I live right across the street in that subdivision. Mm -hmm. You know, so just slightly to the, to the south, to the south. Yeah. yeah. So I, I pass this thing every day. So. I, I'd, I'd like to see. I'd love to see. Quite honestly, I'd love to see a building up there too. Unfortunately, you know. Well, it's it's not so much a building being there right now. It's bothering me. It's just the appearance of it right now. So it comes down to. So. Well, that's, I, that's that's really where I'm trying to get. That's what I'm here asking for. Is, oh, I'm sorry. That's really what I'm here trying to do. Is you know, I have to follow the guidelines to take the steps forward. Right. Right. And, that, just, and that's what I'm trying to do. It, it is a must. Too. I seen that that that. Food giveaway or whatever the other day too, you know, and you see people just wrapped around all the trailers and everything else, standing in line there, you know, and it's just, it is, it is crazy. It really is, you know. So if you're saying you're gonna move all that and clean it up, you're gonna finish the project and you're gonna finish your paving, whatever needs to be done yet. And if you're 25% ownership of this of this project, I mean, it wouldn't hurt to draw some landscape and make the place a little a little more cosmetic, is what I'm trying to say, you know, um, some trees. And, uh, just something to make it look, you know, decent. Well, the, the, you know, that front section is ultimately for a building. I, you know, I don't want to put trees there. Then I don't know. Oh, there's parkway there in the front, though. I mean, there's, there's areas around there that they can be. Yeah, that's actually the village's parkway. Uh, how about the areas in between? Is there any common areas around this building? There's actually, between the two buildings, there is landscaping. And the, where the offices and everything are in front, on the east building, west building. Uh, again, I'm, I'm good with it all except for it, it's, it's got to be finished. It's just got to be complete. Whatever it is not done, it's got to be done. It's got to be cleaned up. That's what it comes down to. So. Otherwise, your facility and your garden and whatever, that's what needs to be done back there. That's fine. It's just, as 25% owner, I would just appreciate you know, a little bit more cosmetics in the place. So Understood. Again, I think this is something that is it, it's a step in the right direction, and I think that we can work with the applicant, um, he's, he's asking for the special use right now for the outside storage right now, and then later on he's going to be talking uh, about building a, a, pulling a building permit. And when he pulls a, bil a building permit, then he's going to be working with village staff as far as getting things cleaned up and, and things like that. So I think we're... We'll where are we starting though? Where, where are we putting these uh, trailers for special use? The outside storage is for the um, the trailer, the trailers. ones where the they're going and parking. Yeah, that's the, 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 the twenty four seven. Right, but that's that's where you're getting the uh, special use stores go back there, not the front. Right, right here. Right, right. We have to. The variance is to be able to build that. Right. That doesn't exist right now. Right, right. So you're not using the front for more additional space. No, it's that no. back. It's from okay. the detention you pond in the store back in the rear. Right. Well, okay. so that, I mean, that's uh, to your point. You know, that's a. Four hundred thousand dollar investment to be able to take that stuff and put it back there and plug it in. Right, right now I don't have that space on site, mm -hmm. so we're spending that money to give us that ability to put them back there. So the request for the building is not in front of us tonight. No. no. Okay. Right. So when 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 that comes in front of us, then we we'll, we can start. But parking these trailers back there is it producing any noise or emissions or anything? Completely silent. No, there's a, there's an air conditioner that's running, but it's. I mean, it's it's all you know. That's all. It's all zoned M1 back there. It's like an industrial property. I mean, it's not. They're they're running in their current condition that they're sitting in. The ones that are parked along the building, they they make a an air conditioner running. But on it, and this pushes them back. You know, we back up the cockle and mush, and we're back there where there's no residences or anything back there. Well, Dad, I entertain a. Motion for a positive recommendation to the village board. Mr. Chair, may I ask yes, you a question? Yes, you may. Quick. Mm -hmm. um, could you give everyone, Bob, somewhat of a time frame for getting the, the uh, cleanup done in the in the front of the building and the paving done? 
Well, as soon as we get approval, if we get approval from, I think the next step is to go to Village Board, right? Right, correct. They, I mean, we have our contractor, the engineering and everything, it's all done. So our goal would, you know, depending on Mother Nature, would be to get the concrete and all that stuff done, you know, as quickly as we can. You looking to do that this year? Oh, absolutely. Okay. That'll be, that be a 30 day cure for that concrete? Oh, at least. 20, 30 pounds. Well, in, in the interim, it'll help as soon as uh, we get some of that stuff, will go to University Park. We're, we're in there outfitting, well, trying to, uh, that's the contractor on that building. Uh, getting the getting that building to where we'll take it, most of the product that we're working on currently in Monee will go to that facility. So in the inter even if even if we struggle getting because of the weather or the concrete curing or all those things, by by definition of us signing that lease in University Park, most of those employees and those products are going to go away. I'll probably only have twenty guys left at that facility. That's all I have, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Anybody else? Like a friend of the, uh, looking for a motion for a, to send a positive recommendation to the village board for the special use application for the outside storage for the property located at 6370 Emerald Parkway. Is there a second? I'll second it. Okay. Roll call, please, clerk. Carlett? Yes. Gross? Yes. Janda? Yes. Johnson? I have to vote present, and there'll be explanation shortly. Neary? Yes. Neeland? Yes. Okay, motion carried. The uh, next village board meeting is October 28th. I believe it's at 6.30 p.m. You and your team should be up here for that, sure. making the presentation. Uh, yeah, this is a little bit of a difficult one tonight, but I think I think we're going in the right direction. And because they didn't ask for anything on the building yet, I think we still have a chance to get that property looking a lot better. Down the road. This Especially is now that uh, Kentucky Trailer is the, is the, is the deep pocketed owner. Yes, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, because of this situation and future situations that I foresee coming up, I there is going to be conflict of interest because I'm sure that everyone here knows that I am now uh, helping with the building department here in Monee. And to be on planning and zoning and working with the contractors and so forth, um, it, I, would, I am uncomfortable knowing that people can claim conflict of interest, which is why I voted present tonight. So after the adjournment of this meeting, I am resigning from planning and zoning. Well, we're really sorry to see you, Bill. Great for the team. Um, I understand the reasons. It makes a lot of sense to you look yourself in the mirror knowing you didn't, you're doing the right thing. So we all we all thank you for all, all the time you spent on the, on the commission. Thank you. Any, anybody else not doing anything for Lisa Johnson? With that, I'll make a motion that we adjourn. <laughs> for a second. I second. If you if you pull a present on that one. Gary. Yes. Neilan. Neilan.
Yes. Amanda? Yes. Johnson? Yes. 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 Lord George, thanks everybody. Yeah. 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 Yeah.